Hello again, Fritz Mayer, Dean of the Corbell School of International Studies here at the University of Denver and proud host of the Denver Democracy Summit. Well, it's been just an extraordinary two days. Uh, yesterday, I thought was just an amazing focus on state of democracy around the world and a number of the very particular threats of misinformation, COVID, climate that uh, face democracy. Uh, and today we focus much more on the US, the US democracy, the state of it, and the extent to which we can uh, here in the US uh, lead the world. And ended with, I think, on a uh, perhaps more hopeful note than many of the other conversations, that is the role, particularly of young people in civic engagement around the world. Extraordinary two days, incredible speakers, incredible insights. For those of you who, uh, those of you who have been with us the, the last two days, you've seen from time to time, we peeked in on our artist in residence, Kevin Cal Callagher, uh, who has been drawing sketches throughout the day, uh, both days, uh, with his insights into uh, the commentary that he was hearing. And joining me now is Cal. And uh, Cal, welcome. Cal, um, Cal is uh, just an extraordinary. He's one of the world's great political cartoonists. He is um, uh, the cartoonist at, at The Economist magazine, where he's been for, uh, I think, now 45 years, uh, also at the Baltimore Sun, uh, a phenomenal political cartoonist and, and indeed political commentator. So, Cal, uh, thank you so much for being with us uh, these last two days and for all the work you've put in. It's quite extraordinary to watch you work. Well, it's been a, a whole lot of fun. It's also been a great privilege to um, be a part of this and, and watch the uh, all the great commentaries we've been hearing. I'm a guy who's been used to sketching and pen and ink and uh, and all that's so a part of the excitement for me is I've been working with a, a digital pen with an iPad creating instant work and making little animations out of them too so I thought I'd, I'd show you a few that I've done today yeah absolutely well I'd love to do that let's uh, I think people have seen a little little windows into them but but uh, love to, to to go through sort of the things you saw and the and the, and, and the things that inspired you to draw what you've drawn today so take us through some of the th of your sketches from the day all right well the first one was um, I'm gonna just play here back on a time lapse replay um, <clears throat> we are talking about Uncle Sam and America's relations in the world and the problems that we have trying to um, regain some of what we lost over the past four years. And people talked about America as the kind of the sheriff and, and made me kind of conjure up this idea of the, of the guy who's been asleep for a, a little while and who comes back into town. But uh, China and, and Russia start exerting themselves more on the international stage and the allies are, are bringing their attention to it. So, so here you can see, it looks pretty funny. While you were asleep, the autocrats returned to town. So it's like a bad cowboy movie where the guys in the black hats are finally uh, gonna be causing some, some mayhem. That's great. Uh, you know, I think that's one of the big themes of, of, the, of the two days, the extent to which the US is, uh, <laughs> you know, is, is back or not? Are, are we ready to lead the world again? Is the world ready uh, to uh, receive us and to, and to allow us to play that role again? Um, certainly a, a, a major theme through, through the days. And of course, uh, as you're picking up on, the U.S. has, has uh, there was a bit of a vacuum, I think someone described the, the, uh, the notion that, that when we were away, there was a vacuum that, into which autocrats and others stepped. And so you've captured that beautifully. <laughs> well, well, the what next you got we, here, the next well, one? Well, we had a couple of sessions that were talking about um, the state of American politics. And, you know, I'm a guy who lives and breathes this, and I thought it was bad. When I heard the speakers today, I felt really depressed <laughs> about where, where the kind of directions we're going. And more, basically, we were seeing basically the shadow of, of January 6th looming large, right? It's still out there in, in, in a big way. And uh, that it looks like things from a lot of people who are inside Washington were trying to picture that it's not going to get any better anytime soon. So here is a, a cartoon that kind of I was in, inspired by by these words to kind of see where, you know, where America is today. How would you, how would you, how would I symbolize it? And of course, this, the great symbol uh, is the eagle. And um, I thought that we had, well, of course, eagles have wings. And so the right wing and the left wing 
are, I think, going in directions that uh, are going to be hard to reconcile. And then that's kind of where I, I, I kind of ended up with this. The poor, the poor national symbol is now in three parts. Yeah, it doesn't look like uh, the Eagles will be taking flight anytime soon. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of conversation, of course, on the on the extent of polarization. Uh, I was fascinated listening to uh, Senator Bennett, Senator Flake uh, today, almost wistful. So looking back at a time when it was less so, right. Uh, it's a hard problem. It's clearly uh, multifaceted and, and something many people put their fingers on. Um, how we how we push back at that polarization, that extent to which we those two wings don't, as it were, talk to each other or connect is is uh, is certainly one of the major themes we heard throughout the the two days here, Cal. Mm. Yeah, and, and following up on that same theme here, um, this is a cartoon that if even when the parties know, or there are elements within Washington or across the country that figure out that they need to find a way forward. And we all know in, in, in order to, uh, the art of, of governing in a democracy is the art of compromise. And that seems to be lost. And it seems like I wanted to <laughs> capture this in a visual sort of way. And unfortunately, it, it seems just like the picture describes. Yeah, I mean, you've caught uh, the, is sort of the fundamental structural problem that many uh, speakers uh, pointed to, the uh, fact that the incentives faced by, uh, in particular, members of Congress uh, are, are, are not to take that first step. Uh, mm -hmm. In fact, the, the, the way in which our political system is set up right now, whether because of natural sorting of the population uh, into red and blue states or gerrymandering in the case of the House of Representatives, you have a situation where anyone who reaches across the aisle now gets punished. And that is a very, very difficult situation for compromise or indeed for democracy. Mm. So, in uh, fact, who is, by the way, going to take the first step here? Um, I'll leave that to the everyone else to decide. <laughs> well, he, the, the thing is, is that Fritz is that, you know, when we talk about all these things that, that it makes it sound like things are really bad, right? and that, that there's no way out of it. And so the latter part of our conversations today um, were on the more um, positive side or giving us some, some prospects for hope. And that's where I, I started to come around this, this idea where if democracy is there's this wonderful bus which you know, houses all sorts of different folks from the rich to the poor and across the uh, um, spectrum that you, um, you know, everything's going great, but it, right now the bus is in mud. We're, we're, we're really stuck into a large degree and yeah. trying to find a way out is tricky. Well, we sh heard today from a lot of um, youth activists and, and civic um, activists, you know, people who have energy, um, who feel strongly about the prospects of the future for, for democracy. So they can be coming from behind and help to push. And of course, everyone was, if for us to get out of this, civic engagement is going to be a big part. Well, I love it. And, and, Indeed, I love the 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 energy, particularly the the young activist um, uh, panel. But the notion that at the end of the day, uh, it's not just about government or governmental leaders who are going to solve this problem. Indeed, it's all of us. It's kind of an all hands on deck problem. And I found that you know hopeful in, in a way. You know, one of the great strengths of democracy ultimately is that if we can name a problem, if we can as a community uh, talk about, learn about, and focus on a problem, then perhaps we have a way out. We have a way to pull ourselves out of the mud. And uh, you've captured that beautifully with that cartoon. So, all right, now what are we, what are we looking for? I think we're you know, well, really talking about the overall the, theme of the day, right? Yeah, this is kind of the summation, um, I think, Fritz, because it, it's really a step beyond just what you were talking about. You know, um, I couldn't help notice over two days that the problems that are facing our democracies, and we all know it, we all feel it, this, things aren't, aren't, aren't right, do, are formidable. And in fact, they can look big, the issues, they can look menacing, and, and in such a way that, that maybe, maybe this great institution will not be able to be up to uh, handling these problems. Yeah. Um, however, you know, 
when I was trying to conjure this into an image, I could only think of a, a snarling wolf pack surrounding mm -hmm. the vulnerable mm -hmm. democracy because not we looking good described here, yesterday no. as both you know a resilient but but um, fragile. Um, but then I felt so much more encouraged today after um, hearing from the, the, the young folks and the civic leaders, and also by the fact that we have a large amount of people watching and engaged in this conference shows that we have civilians, citizens who are just as concerned as I, and if we link together, if we all fight together, democracy is, is a culmination of lots of people's um, interests and joining arms and pushing way forward that we can face these threats and we can tackle them and move on to the next problem. Well, I, Cal, that, I think that captures almost perfectly the, but what I would say is the big takeaway as well, the big theme of the conference. Yes, there are enormous challenges. We've identified them um, in the course of these two days and there's plenty to worry about, but at the same time, that sense of well, resilience in the society that that uh, that in the end, uh, the people like all of the people now part of the audience today, uh, all of us have a role to play there. I can see us somewhere in that crowd, I believe, uh, <laughs> uh, backing up democracy. Mm -hmm. Well, Cal, um, wonderful images, um, wonderful insights. Thank you so much for for being with us these two days and for sharing your remarkable talent. Appreciate it, man. I look forward to it next time. And, uh, and many thanks uh, as we come to the end of, of two days. Um, first to all of the speakers, extraordinary. We are in your debt uh, to be sure. Wonderful conversations over these two days. Um, many thanks to our partner, the Alliance of Democracies, um, who's partnered with us in the summit and who will be hosting the upcoming uh, summit in Copenhagen. Uh, particular thanks to Torch Media, um, who've done a splendid job managing the technology here, and to the extraordinary staff here at the Corbell School, who've done just fantastic work in pulling this together. And finally, thanks to all of you who've joined us at the summit um, these past two days. We've had more than 3,000 people join us for part or all of the of the two days. It is just so heartening to see such a level of interest uh, in this topic. And as we were just talking about, very, very encouraging. And we hope you've learned uh, a lot in these two days, have a better understanding both of the challenges and that you have a clear idea of the path forward from here. So on behalf of all of us at the Corbell School at the University of Denver, thank you for being with us.